New York state legislators, they are leading the charge for safer rail crossings. That's where officials say 95% of deadly train accidents happen. Bios One's Christina Chiarelli has the story. The Metro North crash in Valhalla, the deadliest in the railroad's history, has state lawmakers saying enough. The tragic coalition in Valhalla never should have occurred. There's something particularly haunting about a commuter rail accident where someone leaves the house and never comes home again. Almost one month ago, a driver trapped on a Valhalla crossing was killed by a train. Five passengers died in the fiery crash. This week, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney and Congresswoman Nita Lowy are hoping legislation aiming to improve the safety of grade crossings will pass in Washington. The House is expected to consider a bill that would allocate $300 million annually to states and towns. That would allow local communities like Newcastle, like Chappaqua, to receive 90% of the funding from, from the federal government to make improvements that they think make sense. Another key part of this bill is education, especially telling drivers what to do if their car gets stuck on the tracks. These gates are designed to shear, to come off. So if you are in that situation, you can back right through it. Lowy plans to set aside $10 million for a national high visibility campaign similar to Click It or Ticket and partner with organizations like Operation Lifesaver, which is dedicated to rail safety education. Maloney is also calling for new technology. Positive train control, which is technology to use Wi-Fi and GPS to stop runaway trains. There's something on the track. It should stop the train in sufficient time. Maloney says they're hoping for bipartisan support this week to pass the bill. In Chappaqua, Christina Chiarelli, Fios, One News.